Welcome back. We are here looking at the uh, tech stocks, and this is going to be my daily forecast for uh, Wednesday, uh, October 7, 2020. If you'd like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscriber button down here in the corner, hit the like button for these videos and others, uh, and the bell button in order to see our newest videos, which we do now on a daily basis. So we'll start out by looking at Netflix. And as you can see, Netflix has pulled back uh, quite significantly. All the tech stocks are down at this point, or the major major tech stocks are down at this point. Netflix is almost down 2%. And at this point, I believe we're going towards the 50 moving average, which is at around $498. If we were to break the, 200, uh, the 50 moving average, then we'll go towards the 100 moving average, which was previous uh, support, and then we'll bounce from there. We are going to see a lot of choppiness up and down uh, before the election, and after the election, it will be more, um, more, um, more, uh, more clear where uh, policies will be uh, will be introduced. For example, about if Biden wins or if if, if uh, Trump wins, um, that will be more clear what technically will happen after elections. Uh, this market is also looking. For forward to a stimulus but as i've said several times uh, um, last weeks i don't believe that we're going to see a significant stimulus bill before the election that is probably not going to happen there is just too much chaos in, in the united states congress at the moment for anybody to do a major bill on a stimulus and so on and nobody else knows how that will basically affect the election uh, if you pass a stimulus bill just before the election. So I don't believe that is going to happen. So we may see this market drift lower, and then after the election, we'll probably see uh, additional stimulus, and then we'll basically skyrocket from there. If you look at the technical indicators, the MACD is still uh, above the signal line, but it is about to turn around, uh, indicating... Uh, bearish momentum. The RSI is flat, the stochastic has crossed the signal line indicating bearish momentum, and the bullish band, we are basically at the top of the bullish band. So we basically make, we're going to make our way towards the bottom of the bullish band and probably towards uh, 470, which was a previous support here. If you look at uh, Microsoft, we are trading underneath the uh, 50 moving average and also these exponential moving averages. And I just think it's a matter of time before we break towards the 100 moving average, which is at 203. Um, if that breaks, then we'll go to these lows at 196. And after that, to the, the 150 moving average at 190. The technical indicators are changing for Microsoft stocks. The, the MACD is not looking as healthy as it did a few sessions ago. The RSI is kind of flat and the stochastic is basically uh, showing uh, bearish momentum. Um, Bollinger Band, we were at the top, we'll probably go towards the bottom here at 200 level. That would make sense before we go higher. We're just going to see a lot of choppiness. I don't believe that we're going to see an absolute explosion to the upside one way or another. There has, there has to be some kind of major event in the world in order for this market to change significantly before the elections. So if you look at Apple, I need to get rid of this. We are trading above the, we're underneath the, the 50 moving average. We have close underneath the 50 moving average. We're trading at $114 at the moment. And at this point, I do believe that we are going to go lower with Apple stock. Um, or we're just going to stay within this range for the foreseeable future before, before the election. My best guess is that we break down towards the 100 moving average before we go higher from here. If you look at the technical indicators, they are uh, kind of flat, both the MACD and the RSI. The stochastic is, is very bearish at this point, and the, um, uh, and the bullish banner is technically just flat at this point. So, um, but I would... I did expect a few weeks ago that we will go and retest the 100 moving average. That did not happen. But at this point, 
we may, if we break the, uh, uh, these uh, moving averages, we have a red candlestick underneath here, and that means that we'll basically go and target uh, the 100 moving average. To the upside, we have um, quite a lot of resistance in this area, and I don't believe that will be broken uh, before the election. I just don't see that's going to happen. We need a stimulus bill uh, passed before we can go get through this um, area here. Amazon is down 2% trading underneath a 50 moving average. It's trying testing these exponential moving averages and they are most likely going to break. We are going down, down. it looks like we are going towards this, uh, this 100 moving average, which is around $2,960. Seven dollars. Um, if you look at the technical indicators, they're all indicating to lower levels. Both the MACD, RSI is flat, and the stochastic is pointing to lower levels. We are at this point most likely going lower. If we were to break to the upside above the 50 moving average, then there is this area here of resistance. Uh, but I don't believe that it's going to happen. The most likely thing is going towards the 100 moving average and bounce from the 100 moving average. If you look at Tesla, we had quite a nice day uh, on yesterday, but we broke down at the end of the session, and today we are nearly 3% down. Um, the technical indicators for Tesla are not good, but the 50 moving average is significant resistant. It has been for quite some time. We can just look at it all the way uh, the last few months and probably also uh, the last years, every single time we've gotten towards this red line here, we can see in March when we broke down from the coronavirus, it hit the 50 moving average on the weekly and then bounce. Um, the same goes for um, the daily chart. Every single time we get towards the 50 moving average, it technically bounces. So that should be um, a good entry point for, for, for buying this stock. And uh, no interest in basically selling, uh, selling, shorting any of these stocks. This is basically pull back and buy, pull back and buy. So if we broke through the 50 moving average, then that would indicate that we're going much lower. Then we'll go all the way towards the 100 moving average at around $300. And that would be a very, very shine for Tesla stock. Indicators are looking dreadful. All of them, MACD is, is quite bearish. The same goes for the RSI. The same goes for the stochastic. So this is just wait towards the 50 moving average, stop loss underneath, and then a good buying opportunity. We have Facebook. Facebook is also uh, went all the way up towards the 50 moving average, got rejected. Now we're trading just at these exponential moving averages. And at this point, I do believe we'll go towards the 100 moving average as similar to all the other tech stocks. The technical indicators for Tesla, no, not face Tesla, Facebook, are also quite negative. We are the MACD and the RSI are quite flat. The, the stochastic is around about to, uh, to cross the signal line, indicating uh, bearish momentum. And the uh, uh, Bollinger Band is technically straight in the middle. So if we were to break to the upside, then we will have this resistant area here that we will get through. And at this point, I don't believe that's going to be the case. Most likely thing is that we'll go towards the 100 moving average and then bounce from the 100 moving average. If you look at Amazon, Amazon has all the, these tech stocks here. Amazon is the one that has been, well, not performing uh, at its best. We had a really good rally uh, in August, broke down significantly in September, found support at the 200 moving average, and at this point, it looks like we have been rejected at the 20 exponential moving average, and we are heading towards the 200 moving average again. 200 moving average has been significant uh, support. Uh, the same goes for the 150 moving average for several months now, and we I do expect it will be support again here. If we were to break through the both of these uh, moving averages, then we have the 300 moving average underneath here, and we need a lot of negative news in order to get down there. So, best guess, 200 moving average bounce towards the, the 50, and then just choppiness uh, before the election. Technical indicators for uh, Google at this point are fairly negative, so 
Um, this is also by the dips uh, and so on. So hope you find this video helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by subscribing, hitting this button here in the corner and hit the like button and the bell button in order to see our newest videos. Uh, good luck and happy trading. Thank you.